In 1932, Ms. Deacon was convicted of perjury and sentenced to a period exceeding three months in jail. A couple of years later, she stood for election in her local council in Staffordshire in England. She was elected and served as a councillor. Sometime later, though, her eligibility was challenged. You see, the Local Government Act 1933 said, A person shall be disqualified for being elected or being a member of a local authority if he has, within five years before the day of the election, or since his election, been convicted of any offence and ordered to be imprisoned for a period of not less than three months without the option of a fine. This is a curious provision. It disqualifies people from two things, being elected and being a member of the local authority. It then contains two conditions for disqualification, conviction within five years before the day of the election and conviction since his election. The problem comes when you combine those rules. There are two ways to look at it. First, you could assume that both conditions apply to each disqualification. So, you cannot be elected if you've been convicted within five years before the day of the election, and you cannot be elected if you're convicted after the election. Well, that obviously makes no sense. The other option is to suggest that the first condition applies to the first disqualification, and the second condition applies to the second disqualification. So, you can't be elected if you've been convicted within five years before the election, and you can't be a member if you're convicted after you're elected. Justice Clawson said, All difficulty can be avoided by applying the well-known method of construction commonly known as redendo singular singulis, and applying the first disqualification mentioned to the first case dealt with, and the second disqualification to the second case dealt with, a construction which, so far as I can see, infringes no rule of syntax or grammar. The result reached seems to be quite sensible, namely, that conviction within five years before the day of election disqualifies from election, and conviction after election disqualifies from continuance in office. Redendo singular singulis means each refers to each. The objection to Ms Deacon's election had been brought too late, and she had not been convicted after her election, so she was entitled to continue as a councillor. Mm-hmm.